Have you ever wondered what's inside one of these old blackberries? Well, today I'm gonna show you. This is the 957 model and this is the 5820 model. As you can see they're pretty similar. The only difference is this one had a red alternative button and this one says Alt on it. And this one had the Research in Motion logo. This one was the first one to have Blackberry as a logo. Apart from that, they're just the same. The connectors are different and this one has a SIM card slot there at the bottom. But as size, they're exactly the same. I had a lot of these, I still do have a lot of these, so I have a box with broken ones. These ones are just for spares that I keep in a box, so I decided to open them up and show you what's inside. I'm gonna strip this one today and only open the back of this one as the components are pretty much the same. You'll see later, so let's open this one up. You need a, what is this, a T6 screwdriver. And remove the four screws at the back. this plastic opening tool yeah, comes out easily and there it is okay now let's open this one up this one's already missing two screws and one of them is not coming out Fine. These have been opened before by me. Probably taking some bits out as well. No, never mind. Let's open it up. see even the insides are very similar let's just focus on this one there's the battery batteries are almost the same the connector is a bit different but uh, I have I have used batteries from this one on that one and they were just fine there compatible. The battery is not removable, we'll get to that later. And uh, there's the battery connector, just a flex cable, and this is the wheel. Let's just remove the case first, push that out, and the case just comes off. There's the front housing. Keyboard. Next, we'll remove the screen. So just push this away and flip this back and just remove the flex cable. It's recommended to do this with a plastic tool not to damage the flex cable, but this is a damaged screen anyway, as you can see. Flex cables badly damaged so I'm not worrying about that and just remove the screen like so the screens they might look the same but they're not compatible I tried don't work in the other model that's the red LED that you see in the notification corner there
Okay. There's a big vibrator over there. The one. Right now we're gonna remove this wheel. Don't worry about the screw sizes; they're all the same so far. So it's okay if you mix them up. Slowly remove that flex cable, and it just pops out. This gets damaged easily, so I had to replace a few of these. In my time, I've serviced a couple of hundreds of these, actually. And this is the most common problem with them. Because dust gets under here, and it doesn't make the... the it doesn't register the motion properly. It's either that, or that click here. I guess damaged. So these are not compatible. They're slightly different, as you can see. They don't work on this other one. But it's pretty much the same principle. Let's put that away. the antenna and the flex cable there remove that and remove this connector here okay now we need to uh, use a different screwdriver I think it's T7 It's a T8 screwdriver for these other screws. You can't mix them up because those are black and these are silver. So, a few screws here. It's important to disconnect the battery first so you don't uh, touch the circuit while there's power through it. Usually the device usually restarts if you touch it. That happened before. If you touch the back of it while the device is on, the red LED will, will turn on and the device will restart. Okay, I think that's the last screw. Alright. Now we'll try to remove this keyboard. Actually, no, remove the back of it. Keep this plastic too. And just push it out. There it is. Um, the other one here is the SIM module. Here. I don't know if you can see. It says Intel 1997 on the chip over there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not good with all these bits. There's 2000 research in motion. This is the connector that goes into the keyboard. That's the reset button there that you push at the back of the device. Where is it? Stick a pin in there and it pushes. 
Okay. This is the keyboard. All right, now about the battery. This is glued to the frame. That's actually the battery you see right here, this white thing. It's part of the battery. So if you need to replace this, I did replace a couple of these. It's really, really awkward to do because uh, they're glued to this and in order to remove it, well, you have to heat up the glue. And I know what you're thinking, it's a bit dangerous because it's a battery and you're not supposed to heat it up. But uh, if you heat up just a little bit here, around the corners, then uh, it's easier to remove. I, I, I try to remove some batteries without heating them up and uh, they kind of ripped apart. It's really difficult to remove these, they're not, they're not made to be removed. So sometimes I just replace the whole frame take the battery from, from one of these uh, uh, really damaged phones and just put the whole frame in onto the phone that needs the battery replace. So it's easier to just put another one of these and take the battery off here. The only time I remove the battery is when I had spare batteries from here and I needed to put one in, uh, in the 5820 and the frames are slightly different so I just had to remove the battery and put it there. So, yeah. All right, let's put everything back in place. There's the keyboard. Don't forget about the flex cable here. And push the connector in. Put that in there. Put this in here. Close it up. And now I put the screws back. Okay, now it's time for the wheel. Put this end in first. And push the little connector in there. Make sure you don't you put them in the right holes. And yeah, I've done that before. I've put the connector you didn't connect them, you didn't connect it properly there and uh, <laughs> kept restarting before I figured it out. Okay, now time for the T6 again. Now the tricky bit. The tricky bit is putting the flex cable back, flex cable of the screen, putting it back in. So you just slide the flex cable in there and align the screen. Yep, like that. And now on this other side, have to lift this, li lift this little plastic bit up it up like that and push the connector in with a plastic tool not the way I'm doing it now that's wrong but I don't really care about this screen because it's dead anyway and it's really really difficult to push it in you have to align it perfectly in there to have a I 
think I had troubles with this screen when I first opened it up, that's why it's so damaged here. So stubborn and I really wanted to put it back in. And that is how you ruin a Blackberry screen. It's really frustrating. Hey, hey. Okay. That's it. We push that down. Now. Front cover. Put the keyboard down. You put the wheel in first. Like so. And you just squeeze the corners okay now it's safe to put the battery flex cable back in place usually if it's a good device device if it's still alive you just press this one and it turns on but this one's dead. So, let's put the back cover on. And the four screws at the corners. That's it. Uh, this is the device is identical to the 857 one, apart from the frequency of, of the network, so the insides are exactly the same. This one's slightly different, but it's the same procedure to disassemble it, so I'm not gonna do it on this one. And that's it. Thanks for watching the video, and see you next time.